Now we're in the clinic and Dr. Ratton's about to start the treatment. Well, so what exactly are we going to do with our model Katrina here today? So Katrina's got some uh, pigmentation post acne. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be focusing mainly on those areas. Mm -hmm. So first thing we're going to do is cleanse the face, okay. clear off any makeup, okay. then we're going to degrease the face, so get rid of all the oil, mm -hmm. and then we're going to apply a pre-cream, which is basically going to make tiny little fissures in the top layer of skin, so that when we put the actual mask on, it penetrates nice and evenly. Excellent. Should we get started? We absolutely can. So first we're just going to clear the skin of all makeup. So what exactly is this treatment called? Basically a mandelic based peel mm -hmm. packed with tyrosinase inhibitors. Mm -hmm. Now tyrosinase inhibitors are the ingredients that calm down those hyperactive melanocytes. It's hydroquinone free and bleach free. So that's really why it's very different. Okay. Okay, so now we've removed all the makeup. Next thing we're going to do is degrease the skin. So degreasing the skin can be a little bit smelly. It smells like nail polish remover. So just breathe through the mouth. Okay, so we just do small circular mo movements. Clear the skin of all oil. There we go. Next thing that we do is apply a little cream. Okay. That is just going to make tiny little fissures in the top layer of skin. Mm -hmm. Katrina, let me know if you feel any tingling and keep your eyes closed for me, please. Okay. So what does the client actually feel throughout the treatment? Is it just a tingling sensation? That's it. Tingling and then with the actual mask you feel a little bit of warmth, but there's no uncomfortableness or um, no pain. You have to be very careful with skin of color. Mm. See, with skin of color, it burns very quickly. So the classic treatments that cause lots of shedding and cause lots of irritation are likely to lead to burns when it comes to skin of color. Mm. So with this, you don't get that. What we're trying to do is make sure the ingredients penetrate nice and deeply into the skin where the melanocytes live without causing too much inflammation. So with this, you hardly have any downtime, maybe one day if that. So you don't get all the shedding and all the peeling? It's, you try not to get too much shedding. A little bit is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, so it tends to look a little bit like someone's got sunburn maybe, but without any redness or irritation the following day. Okay. Uh, but that's the maximum type of shedding that you're going to get. How's that feel, Katrina? Starting to tingle now. Starting to tingle, lovely. Keep your eyes closed for me. Perfect. We're now going to clear the skin. So is this similar to like a fruit peel? A uh, fruit peel, I'll tell you what it is. A peel just basically means an acid that's removing the top layer of skin. Mm -hmm. Now this is not how this works. We're not, it's not about the flaking. It's about getting the ingredients into the skin. Mm -hmm. So it's very different to any peel and it's, it's almost difficult to call it a peel because it's more about um, getting those ingredients deep into the skin rather than getting lots of shedding. Mm -hmm. So you're not taking the top layer of the skin off? No. You're actually going down into the skin? Exactly. Where the melanocytes live to calm them down. Okay. Right. Okay, so I'm just drop my nose. Next thing we're going to be doing is applying the actual mask. Okay. So how long would you normally leave this on for? Uh, between five to eight hours, depending on which country we are doing the treatment in. In warmer countries, it tends to be closer to five hours. In the UK or cooler countries, it tends to be close to eight hours. Okay. On the face, that's how long it takes. On the body, so we treat all over the body, take between, uh, on average, about five hours. What can the client um, expect to be in for when they come? Uh, it takes about 30 minutes, the procedure in total. So it's quite a quick... Um, treatment. Okay. It's not uh, that time consuming. Yeah, it's not too long at all. Yeah. If they come in once, that's fine. If they do more than one, then they tend to come in after eight weeks again. Okay. And I guess you need that eight weeks for your skin to kind of heal and rejuvenate. Exactly, that's absolutely right. So as you can see, Katrina's now got a very shiny yellow tinted face. Yeah. So this is the actual mask. I'm going to leave this on for eight hours. 
So I usually tell my clients in advance they're going to have this mask on. So a lot of them tend to drive in or get cabs back mm -hmm. rather than taking the public transport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lovely. There we go. Katrina's all done. We leave her in the warmth for a little bit, about five minutes, mm -hmm. and then she'll um, she'll be ready to go. And she'll go home, and then what does she do? What's the aftercare when she gets home? So at the aftercare, she's washed this off, and then we give her creams to wear for the following eight weeks. Those creams uh, consist of your moisturizer, because mm -hmm. you want to hydrate the skin. Yeah. And then we also give you um, a vitamin cream, which basically causes the shedding to happen. Mm -hmm. And then we also give another tyrosinase inhibiting cream, which basically calms down those hyperactive melanocytes. And what if somebody wanted to go on holiday while they're getting this treatment done? Would you advise them not to be going away anywhere in the sun while they're getting the treatment not done? Not really, because actually this treatment likes the heat. Mm -hmm. So it tends to work better when it's warmer. Mm -hmm. So the way it works is what I tend to do is people either prepare their skin while they're on holiday, so they can do that at night time, it's invisible, you can't see it, mm -hmm. or they tend to do the peel about two weeks before they go on holiday. Mm -hmm. um, so either way is absolutely fine as long as you protect your skin because your best friend is going to be your sunblock. Mm -hmm. Exactly, you know, it, yeah. It just needs to be because if you put UV on normal skin, nothing mm -hmm. happens. If you put UV on already hyperpigmented skin, mm -hmm. your melanocytes become even more triggered. Mm -hmm. So you have to protect the skin really, you know, forever. Everyone should be on something. Well, we should all be doing that anyway, we but I should. guess you would take extra care of your skin if you're using the treatment. Uh, if you're using the treatment, but even if you have pigmentation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So what's the best way for people to get hold of you? Um, you can contact us. Uh, the website is www.thehyperpigmentationclinic.com. We're in a number of different countries and you can email, book online or call us. This treatment has made a massive difference to me and I would most definitely recommend it. From the beginning of treatment up until now, two months later, I've seen 85 to 90% reduction in my pigmentation, which is more than I could have asked for. I would definitely recommend this product to anyone. I am very happy with the results. Fashion. Fashion.